welcome again in this tutorial we will see CACPHP image upload so let's see so in previous tutorial we have seen simple uh, finder that's called dynamic finder we are now able to search our data from now like this so now you will create a input field in here for image then after submit we will save the image in our folder and then we also save the image name in our database so I already created a users in, in users table I already created a column called image so in here we will save the image name and so now go in our add user page so opening my VS code editor I'm going in source uh, sorry I'm going in templates and there is an admin prefix folder that we have already created and users and this add.php I'm giving here a field name called maze file and we have to mention that this type will be file so don't forget that uh, when you will upload any file from our HTML we have to mention the multiple from data in our from so in CACPHP you have to just mention it in your create method so I am just going here and mentioning that the type will be file so after save if you go and I'll reload your page you will see something like that so next thing we have next thing we have to do we have to write some code in our controller so I'm just going to open my controller so there's a source and this is the controller folder and this admin folder and there is a users controller I'm just opening it so here you can see uh, this uh, patch entity and after this patch entity I'm just giving I will write the code for upload image so first thing we uh, for upload image let's go in CACPHP documentation and here you if you search here this is the CACPHP documentation for version 4 so you can see the 4 in here so now I'm just typing file upload and hit on enter you will see the request and response on this link after click on here in right side you will see the file uploads option so after click on here you will get a documentation for uploading file in CACPHP so let's see first uh, I'm just copy this line from here so they have used the get method this request get data and I'm just giving this image file that's my field name in here and changing it variable name image so if you just debug it in here so I'm just typing the debug and image and exit in here so now go in here go in our browser and then just try to trying to uh, sending a image from here and if you submit you, you will say see a object that is returning in here so we have to use this object to upload our image and also uh, to save the name the file name we have to use this client file name object so let's see how you can do this so I'm just here again and I need to name the image name or how we can say the name and so for get the name we have to use the get client file name they have already mentioned it so I'm just paste it in here uh, changing the attachment to file image client file name then next thing that we have to do we have to move this file in folder that means in the web root or anywhere that we want to send so what I'm going to do I'm just copy this line and paste it in here so if we get the name then this operation will happen so I'm just giving a simple condition in here that's if name then this image and just move to this target path I'm also giving the target path in, path in here so the target path will be www and then root www and uh, root directory so
so www.root and uh, and uh, after concatenation i will uh, submit the image uh, image that means image folder this www root will be return uh, our return our uh, web root directory and then in image folder and in this image folder we will use the uh, directory separator then concatenate it again and then we will send this name add this name so this is the path name that i have mentioned in here target path so i'm just removing this line and another thing that we have to do we have to send the name in our database so i'm giving the uh, user that means this user and the name of my input field then i will say send the name so our controller is almost ready one thing that we have to do we will give a simple condition in here if this uh, user not get errors that means if we don't uh, if we not get any errors this is the get error method that there is a s in here so if not user get errors that means if there has no any error then the, this operation will be happen i'm just copy and paste it the, the code in here so this is the controller code for our uploaded upload file and the next next last thing that we have to do we have to give a simple validation in our model so i'm just going in uh, model and this is the table and in this table i'm opening that users table and here i will write a simple validation so there has lots of validation for upload your file but i'm just uh, i've just used here two validation this is very simple validation that i added in here so you can add more validation after seeing uh, catfish documentation after follow the catfish documentation you can add more validation i've just used here two validation one is the meme type validation and another is file size so let's see so meme type validation that i have added uh, i will uh, accept only jpg png image so i just mentioned it in here and also given the rule in here and another thing i've just added the rule another rule this file size will be less than or equal 1 mb that means we will accept only 1 mb file size so after save uh, if everything okay then we should able to upload our file now so let's go in our web root so this is the web root folder where we will upload our file and we have only two data in our database table so we will up, uh, we will create a new users now so another thing, another thing that we have to see in here, uh, you can see the LOMT file. This is the method I have used. That means our image can be empty. So we can submit only file without image. So for this method I have applied it here. So let's see, edit new user. So I'm using the call the moon email using this email and uploading this file and after submit okay so i'm getting a validation error that calls this value already taken so i'm changing the value here and taking taking the image again and after submit so you can see the user has been saved so let's go in folder so you can see this image has been uploaded in here and you can see in our database if I see so we can see this image also we are getting in here so this image we already uploaded so if you want to see now in your your image in your index that means in here so I'm just taking going in my template and this index.php and giving here call the image and I'm giving here the after email I'm giving here the image same thing but in this time I'm using the cat page be this uh, HTML image 
like this and giving the image name uh, that means uh, file name uh, uh, field name or database field name so i'm using the image in here so oh, sorry it will be the user image so after save we should see the output image now in here so you can see there is two noticed but there is the image that we are seeing now in here i'm giving a ampersand at the rate for uh, so this uh, two notice has gone so this is the simple tutorial for upload your image in CAC PHP. There is lots of plugin also. So we will see lots of more in front of the tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next tutorial.